thing before they get started is the overworld search spot. Um, guaranteed to not have anything uh, critical there because, of course, with no numbers, you don't get any coordinates, and we don't want to sit here all day searching every single tile. So guaranteed, nothing important on the search on the overworld. And so we're going to find out what's inside uh, the castle to get them started. We've got an herb, Erdrick's token, so one of our progression items, and, of course, the magic key so they can get out. Oh, Erdrick's tease. You see Erdrick come across the screen and get really excited, but it's just the token. You do eventually need that, but you don't really want that at the start. So you can see their menu there. No numbers over there. Our runners do not know how much HP or MP they have. Ooh, but there's a town nearby. And Tristel MTG trying to take out the Scorpion. Has now, stop spell. One thing we do, we can help sort of figure out our stats. You saw Mr. Holmes one shot a Drakey. So just based on that, you kind of know the strengths. Probably, uh, I would guess, somewhere in the low T, like 10, 11, 12. Right. They're definitely above average from a level one. Like if you're comparing from a vanilla where a Drakey would be, no, no, that not, not a good thing to fight right away. Yeah, we see Tristel take out the Scorpion. So yeah, definitely the strength, not bad at all. Drakey's going down, enemies going down all over the place. Um, you can also notice, too, when they level up, I think I see that response speed and that magic definitely had an extra space there. So they know they got double digits of magic there. They know they got single digits of power. So you get the spacing and sometimes give an idea, too, of what number's behind there. And so we're off to a, a really quick start here. Uh, we've got levels pretty much across the board. Yeah, this is a nice start. Anytime you can take out a scorpion on level one, I mean, you're going to have a nice little grind there. So uh, scorpions worth 16 each. The experience point's not changing, so they know how much each enemy's worth. It's, uh, the uh, scorpions worth 16 each. You could hang out there, you kill five or six scorpions, you're going to find yourself on level five real fast. Right, and that's about when you'll want to branch out. From five, you start getting into to territory where, where these monsters won't be giving them enough uh, experience. So they're hoping to cross that next hurdle, whether that's being able to purchase another... Uh, piece of equipment or catch like a hurt more spell or just gain a whole bunch more strength and, and defense to to branch out and start exploring yeah it looks like we found the heal spells that'll of course help a little bit yeah, it looks like heal radiant and stop spell have appeared by level three um heal the big one the radiant and stop spell can sometimes be yeah, Radiant useful if they stumble across Erdrick's Cave, for example. That's not one I'd like to bonk my way around. Yeah, as, as our runners are just grabbing some uh, early experience here on these scorpions, see Mr. Holmes exploring a little bit, but for the most part, everyone kind of just grinding. Um, a reminder that the top two runners in this will advance to the Grand Finals next week. So you don't have to win this race, but you do have to be in the top two. Mr. Holmes is going to try a Poltergeist. Usually that's a little stronger enemy, but we'll see if he can take it. And he's already taken a couple of uh, blows from it and still not dropping down into uh, the danger HP range. So uh, it kind of gives him an idea that, that hit points seem fairly decent uh, as well as their strength so a good a good start Ooh, i was gonna say uh crystal kind of looked like he had a good thing going with that drakeema but the drakeema hurt more in the way um i think beta strat mentioned that uh scorpions had hurt more but it must be a little rare because we haven't seen a ton of I haven't seen too many scorpions actually either. Like just a uh, just a few compared to the other monsters that are turning up here. And Mr. Holmes finds one. Yeah, still taking Tristel, two blows to take it down. I know Tristel found earlier. Mr. Holmes gets that one for level four. And neither one hurt more, so they must be maybe twenty five percent. Maybe it's hiding back there. But uh, runners still able to, like you mentioned, they two shot them, so uh, they can still kill them pretty quickly. I'm searching for maybe another zone up to the north here. Trying to stay close to home, but find something different. Yeah, I think Holmes is looking for uh, zone one, and he's found a warlock, which will be a little more experience. You don't want to hang around and kill drakeys all day long, so I think he's trying to branch out and find that next zone with things like warlocks, drolls, that sort of thing. Skeleton on crystal side. Skeleton is a good find, as long as it doesn't have anything too nasty. They get pretty decent... Uh... Pretty decent experience for, for when you're able to defeat them. 
like, I, like, I think that's just one space, I guess. It kind of looked like one of those attacks, Crystal had two spaces there, like he's hitting the skeleton for more than ten, which would be really... Meanwhile, Pally be the second has found a wolf. Oh, the wolf is definitely hitting for 2 MP, and then Diabetes learning that his MP is too low to heal, so I think this is... Ooh, he's... Oh, and... not quite enough. Yeah, not quite enough to take it out and goes home. Like, Angel FM? Oh, is... sorry, I thought he was in a... had found a different town, but that's just, uh, just north of Tantagel. He's doing the same thing. Our runners are utilizing that desert <clears throat> for the higher encounter rate and more um, more grinding. Here's a Drakeem up for Angel's side. I don't think he's seen the hurt more yet, but Drakeem is going to introduce him. And it does look like uh, Angel FM has purchased a hand axe, so it doesn't help him not get hurt more back home by that uh, Drakeem. Yeah, but uh, he's going to be really happy when he finds like that wolf. Ooh, diabetes. Excellent moving a wolf, but not enough to kill it. Ouch. Double excellent move. Double crit. Very, very nice uh, turn of turn of events for uh, Diabetes there. And again, wolves give pretty good uh, about 30 experience, I believe I saw there. It's kind of interesting knowing that a, a critical doesn't kill the wolf. The wolf is anywhere from 25 to 33 HP, and your critical is based solely on your attack power. So that might give him some sort of idea of where his attack power is sitting, maybe in the low 20s or somewhere like that. Or maybe he just low rolled an excellent move, but... Meanwhile, Tristel MTG picked up a bamboo pole, and Mr. Holmes has a half plate armor. So each uh, runner chose different equipment to buy. Um, bamboo pole, perhaps just out of necessity for, for what he had. Um, but different, uh, different starts. So we'll see if that uh, makes any impact on how they progress. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It'll be interesting to see how long they hang around and grind versus who starts exploring. You see Angel's making his way east of the castle and finding just little drakeys and stuff like that. Um, so he's going to hope to find some favorable enemies as he as he goes. He's going to try this wolf floor. That might be a little much, but he does have the hand. Oh, right, he's got an excellent move. There it is. Crits all over the place today. And Holmes and Angel FM almost simultaneously getting level 6. I, I mean, directly simultaneously. <laughs> yeah, and almost simultaneously being disappointed that it's just return on level 6, but... Oh, and Mr. Holmes is going to be more disappointed. Oh, no, he did. He knew about that uh, that hurt more because he stopped spelled the Drakeema, so he's going to be actually happy that he's going to get this Drakeema. Right. Good uh, good play getting that stop spell out there as well. That uh, pretty much takes all the teeth out of it. And there's a free 20 hit, uh, experience. Yeah, Angel make up that hand axe, making short work with that wolf, and I think he likes that. Uh-oh, maybe he doesn't like that zone as much anymore, because the Axe Knight's coming along. Um, very interesting, though. Angel does not have any armor, and one hit from the Axe Knight did not even send him into the red, so that, that'll be a little... A little hint that their hit points are, are all right. Yeah, but I think Angel is a big fan. It looks like Diabetes, too. They're a big fan of this desert with these wolves in them, and can't blame them, because they seem like they can take out wolves pretty easily, and that's 40 experience per. So, um, yeah, I definitely can uh, feast on that for a little Wolf stakes aplenty. Star Wyvern here and there. Their Jerkbird might be sending Angel FM home here. Yep. Yeah, even if we have Back favorable to stats... The and a lot of hit points on level 5 or 6, that, that's that's not going to work. So Angel, I, I think Diabetes, I like Diabetes Zone a little more, a little safer where he is by that swamp near the castle. He's finding wolves. That zone where Angel found wolves also littered with Axe Knights and Star Wyverns. So uh, uh, I don't know if he'll go back there. Right. So again, all runners pretty much focusing on the grind. A little bit different places, but uh, continuing to burn up those those monsters and uh, crank out the experience. Yeah, the jump from 6 to 7 is only 170 experience. If you can get Warlocks and Wolves and stuff like that, I mean, that's 28 experience for the Warlock, 40 for the Wolf. You get 160 experience real fast. So it makes sense to get another level before you head out. The... Right, and I missed it, but it does look like Tristel MTG picked up a half plate armor. Diabetes the second going to take a rest at the end. He 
he's going to check out the shop. We'll see what he chooses to purchase with his uh, with the spoils of his labor. Silver shield? Oh, nope. <laughs> Hopeful. Every time you go into that store, you check that silver shield. And the fact that it's right next to home actually makes it, you know, if a gold grind is available, you know, grind it up and, and, and go get that thing. Yeah, the funny thing about the uh, the gold grind is Diabetes finds out he can afford the half plate, but not much. Well, he got the hand axe too, but not the silver shield or broadsword. The funny thing about the gold grind is the gold grind is a number, right? Gold chests are also a number, so you get to grind gold chests, but you have no idea how much gold you're getting from each one. So you kind of have to play a little, uh, little uh, estimating there too. Yeah, but it's still within its normal range. So, you know, what is it? About 600 per, per pickup? They could definitely kind of get an idea of, of, of how many pulls to take to, to get themselves comfortably enough to be certain to, hey, I can probably afford this thing. I mean, But it's average, definitely a, a gamble, right? Yeah, I think it's five, roughly 500, like 520 or something, like seven something or others. So yeah, on average about six, but uh, yeah, we've all been at the Dragon Lord and know what averages are in this game. And also, you don't know how far you have to go either. The Silver Shield might only cost like 1,200 gold and you just need to pick up a couple and you have no idea, so... Ooh, Diabetes looking like he picked up double-digit power there because, you know, our runners needed more strength. And Angel's got a big find. Doesn't involve any numbers at all. Angel's found Remolder, so that hand axe, that aggressive strategy of attacking things and going to look around, paying off for Angel's. He's going to be the first one with key. And so, purchasing his keys. Meanwhile, Diabetes the second, who picked up hand axe and half plates going out uh, and exploring, looks like, in a different direction. Yeah, we saw Angel explore the east and there wasn't anything there, so it looks like Remolder's tucked on the coast. I'm guessing somewhere to the southwest, I believe. He's going to check the Remolder chest, of course. Um, I feel like Diabetes is wandering. Oh no, he's over on the east. Yeah, I think he found that same dead end. Oh, and the Remolder chest. Good thing that Angel checked it, because he's got the Stones of Sunlight, which is one of our three key items that we need. So, you still have to do all the questing. Even though it's short Sherlock, you still have to do all the questing. Um, Angel's also going to check out the Remolder shop and see what he might be able to purchase. I assume he's going to try to buy a whole bunch of stuff. And not enough gold for a large shield. Angel's got a cave, too, just south of the Remolder. Looks like Tristel MPG about to find the bad news about the dead end uh, that... Uh, our Angel and uh, Diabetes had just found, and then Holmes right behind him. Yeah, so each one are kind of taking the same same search path. Yeah, he uh, gets the bad news about the dead end, but he gets the good news about the wolf. Wolf would be a nice experience for him. Uh, Angel getting the bad news that Swamp Cave has blue dragons that are uninterested in them going. Thou art dead. So rack one more death up for uh, Angel FM. Uh, but some good knowledge knows uh, kind of the way to go and has keys to find out what's inside this treasury. Ooh. Meanwhile, How about a big stick? Diabetes going very, very aggressive trying to get that uh, magic weapon. And yeah, the big stick, that, that might be okay. That's going to be a big boon for Angel FM. Uh, so from Hand Axe to Erdrick Sword. And he's, uh, of course, going to go check and see what's in the basement as well. So we know Remolder's a huge find, not just your Stones of Sunlight out of Remolder, but also to get your sword out of the treasury. That is uh, that is really big for Angel. Our runners had, uh, we're guessing our runners had high strength uh, already, and the sword plus 40 attack power. Um, that Magi Wyvern, that, oh, Diabetes does get the Magi Wyvern. If Angel runs into one of those, though, I think he's just going to slice through it really fast. Yeah, so, but uh, good on Diabetes picking up the, uh, the experience, you know, keeping in the in the the experience grind again all of our runners still despite the various uh exploration differences uh at the same level everybody at level seven right now yeah that's really impressive diabetes able to use that sleep spell they picked up on seven to get that magic wyvern so that was a nice uh nice bit of experience for him for sure again only uh uh what is that 270 experience that's a good chunk of his way to level uh to level
Angel had the gold grind, or the chest grind activated. It looked like he was grabbing magic keys, I want to guess. Magic keys or herbs, one of the two. And he's going to explore the bottom of the grave while he's here. Probably take the opportunity to slice through some enemies and grab some experience as well. Absolutely. Caves have a pretty decent, ex uh, uh, what do you call it, encounter rate. Uh, and he's, as you said, with that Erdrick Sword, able to just cut right through these monsters that normally you wouldn't want to be facing off at, at level 7. Yeah, with the sword, with their high strength, he he he, he, uh, he got an excellent move, but like a wyvern is wonderful if you have the sword. That's going to go down quickly. This wolf is not going to last very long either, so Angel is going to be able to check these treasure chests and get some pretty decent experience. He's killing those same wolves that uh, Mr. Holmes and Tristel are out in the Wow. And a wolf lord on, on top of that. I mean, that's almost the best set of enemies you could ask for for Angel. Wolf lords, wolves, wyverns. Like, that's that's great experience for him. Very safe, too. So yeah, the, the thing is mentioned earlier about, do you, ooh, I think Diabetes just spotted Remolder across the ocean. Um, as Angel goes for the Harp Knight. That's always wonderful. And it looks like Tristel MTG did pick up a silver shield. I think. Yes. Ooh, so they can't be that expensive then, I guess. Um, Angel was grinding Harp Knights, which were either the opposite of herbs or magic keys he was grinding on the top floor. And I be the second finding uh, Rimmeldar, and so he'll be getting his stock of keys. Uh, we'll see where he goes next. Um, might find the same cave. Uh, but that's uh, big for him. Yeah, I imagine he'd do something similar to Angel. I imagine he's going to find Swamp Cave just south as Angel gets eight and gets some spells uh, outside and repel, I think, maybe. He's probably going to see that same cave. He's probably going to try to get through Swamp. We'll see if he... Um, oh, he's got to do his check for his... Uh, oh, he knows the stones. But we'll see if he uh, if he gets through Swamp Cave or he gets sent home. He doesn't know it, but he probably wants to get sent home, so he checks that treasure and gets that sword sooner rather than later. Right, and meanwhile, Mr. Holmes also picked up the Silver Shield. So, again, we kind of have two different uh, equipment builds uh, occurring here as our runners, uh, one set kind of focusing more on the grind, others on the exploration. Right now, the exploration really paying off with the, the sword being picked up and uh, keys and, and all of that. Ooh, Angel, though, getting killed before he could finish the Magiwaver, and there's a Magiwaver down there that took him out, so couldn't quite get to that fifth treasure chest, I don't uh, don't believe. But uh, yeah, apparently those silver shields are not all that expensive, so I would not be uh, surprised if Angel and Diabetes get their silver shields very shortly. Angel's going to try right now, it looks like. Oh, but he comes up short. Yep, for sure, there's Diabetes. He sees Swamp Cave. He's going to probably go through and uh, like I said he doesn't know it but he probably wants to be kicked out by a blue dragon like Angel was so he goes and gets his stick so far he's getting all the pushover enemies a red slime magician what is this zone zero I guess I say that for all we know this could backdoor into like Garenham and give him like the armor and the harp and the other really good thing too like it may not be bad to get through here but he does want to get back to the castle as soon as possible to get that and he gets away from his blue dragon so we'll test that hypothesis there's another cave just to the south of him do double digits that Druin Lord. He doesn't even have the sword yet, so that's not bad. Ooh, two shot a Druin Lord without the sword. That's that's some strength that they got. Yeah, who needs a sword when you've got punch or uh well he's got a hand axe, I think, so you know. Axe hands. Yeah, the hand axe isn't bad. It's no sword or anything, but still the two shot of Druin Lord with the hand axe on level eight. Like they've got a touch of strength alright, yeah. So moment of truth, Erdrich's, uh, Erdrich, or the tablet cave. We're going to see what's, uh, what's in Erdrich's chest. This cave here, uh, no encounters, and it's gold. Blank gold, yep. Uh, Tristel, by the way, did get to Remolder. He has his keys, and he's doing the same thing. He's through Swamp Cave. He's about to get his blank gold as well. So both Tristel and Diabetes, next time they die, 
they'll go back and or hit a dead end. They'll go back and check the castle and get their swords as well. And Mr. Holmes right behind them into Rimolder with keys as well. So all of our runners with keys, all of the runners exploring various parts of Swamp Cave. Um, and uh, we'll see when they get their swords. And it looks like Diabetes II has found another town. And a golem says, you're not going to find out what town that is. So it must be Cantlin, right? That's that's oh, the that only was... logical thing. Was that Cantlin? That was, was that, that looked like the same spot Ramolder was on. I missed where it was, but I thought that looked a lot like Ramolder. Either way, Diabetes is going to go check the treasure and be quite happy he got some. All right. Yeah, both Diabetes and uh, and Tristel look like went back through Mountain. Mr. Holmes finding another town. Ooh, he finds coal. I think that was maybe just south of Swamp Cave. Um, let's see what's in. And Cole kind of playing the Panama role there, just really splitting that that little isthmus connecting the uh, the continent together. Some geographical terms. I know. I know. It's Ooh. cool. Meanwhile, Holmes found the uh, fairy flute in his now uh and uh he's gonna think that was kind of a lame find but when he realizes that golems have dl blank breath he's gonna be real happy to have that fairy flute and that guaranteed uh sleep and run who's winning asks chat i would have to say at this point angel fm is the only one who's picked up well angel fm and diabetes the second both have erdrick sword which gives them a, a significant advantage but the other two runners have silver shields so they've got a defensive advantage well, and very importantly, too, Mr. Holmes and Tristel have keys. So next time they end up being sent back to the castle, they will be um, they'll, they'll be getting their swords. So it's not like they have a long path to their swords at all. And they have high strength. So in the meantime, they can still they can still kill a lot of. But currently, experience wise, Angel FM first to break level nine. So Angel FM does have the experience lead. Um, owing that, I would say, significantly to have having found the sword first and immediately capitalizing on the higher level monsters that he could take out. Ooh, and the experience lead. Level 9's a good one with Hurtmore. Hurtmore, um, actually in this seed may not be that big a deal because we know our runners have high strength. We know they're going to have the sword shortly. I mean, you'll take Hurtmore, of course. It's always fun to hurt more things and it usually does a little more damage with high strength. Right, and uh, hurt more. It you know, it's it's a safer spell against you know monsters. You just use your your hurt more against an axe knight or whatever, and boom, it dies. Yeah, beta strep in chat correctly noting that yeah, hurt more is better. Probably in this case, almost like as defense in case you run into an armored knight or something like that. Um, Angel finding ooh Garenham in the swamp. Garenham's gonna have three chests in the back. Plus, it's going to have a cave back there, too, which uh, could be one of our quest trading caves or it could be mountain cave or bonus cave. And a much needed inn. So just a, a perfect timing and find for uh, for Angel FM. Ooh, and perfect. Just as I say, Hurtmore is not that big a deal. Werewolves have DL2 breath, so Hurtmore might help you hurt more them away. Not guaranteed to kill a werewolf, but still. Angel FM still can't afford a large shield. I think it would be interesting if he can uh, if he can afford a silver shield, um, which is completely possible with randomized and blanked out spell uh, uh, item prices or weapon prices rather. Yeah, we've all seen that in uh, well, when we're playing with numbers and random prices. Y'all see that where the silver shield is twelve gold and the large shield is thirteen thousand gold or something. That might be the case. Angel's going to find Harp Cave in the back of Garenham, which is a little annoying because he doesn't have the Harp. So he's going to have to make a return trip to Garenham after he finds that Harp at some point. Right, and the Harp is the only progression item he hasn't found yet. So definitely irksome when the one thing you don't have is the one thing you need. Yeah, and uh, it was mentioned in chat earlier too that Angel's probably ahead unless, we're going to see from Diabetes real soon here, unless that bottom chest in the grave... Angel died before he got to that last chest, and uh, gotta imagine it's gonna take him a little while before he goes back and checks that. And if he just gets unlucky and turns out that there was, uh, you know, like the harp under there, the armor under there. 
Now at this point, based off of what we've seen, I think we're getting really close to the balance of where um, the ch the uh, armor is as likely to be in Sherlock as it is anywhere else. Uh, let's see. Bonus cave turned out empty with just wings. Um, we do have Hawksness could have the armor. We do have Mountain Cave we haven't seen yet. It's got five five spots. And um, the bottom and grave could potentially have the armor. So I think there's seven outside and seven inside. So I think we are on that tipping. And I believe armor was considered an essential, quote-unquote essential item. So I don't think the armor can be on the overworld in these yeah, I believe they they made it so the armor could not be found uh, or, or needed or needed uh, on the overworld search tile because the coordinates are also numbers. So if our runners go and find out how many leagues to the north and how many leagues to the east or whatever it is, uh, it'll be blank north and blank east, uh, which would be a very difficult thing to to count out. Wait, wait! I thought we were gonna get five hours of them searching every single tile in the overworld. Is that not true? I was I was looking forward to that. I would, you know, if that was what it came down to, um, the runner that figures out it could only be in one coordinate is first is is probably the one that would get it. I have or, seen. I I know. Um, I know Mr. Holmes uh, has done this before, and I, I you do at least get the directions. At least you know like east or west or north or south. But um, it's pretty brutal when you have to search around with no number. And you can tell single digit, double digit, or triple digit too. So I mean, there's some minor cues, but uh, no, we're not going to stick around here and search endlessly for stuff. On so, Mr. Okay. Holmes, Trist, uh, in in the uh, and Trist both in the the grave. Did Tristel pick up his Erdrick sword? Yeah, I believe they all got their Erdrick sword, and um, they're all in the grave, and we're about to see Diabetes check the bottom. This is kind of a, a big thing here for uh, for Angel, actually, really, to see if this is a key item or it's something that he won't miss. Oh, and there you go. That's actually great news for Angel. Diabetes is going to take this opportunity to grind a little gold and then go to try to buy his uh, silver shield, I'd imagine. And he, based on uh, our other runners, he's not going to need too much. He's going to take a whole bunch to be safe. But um, uh, but yeah, that's good news for Angel that there's just gold under there, because he will not probably ever go back to that chest. Absolutely. He's in the... That's the bottom of the grave, right? Yeah, that's the bottom of the grave. That's the one chest that Angel got uh, kicked out of grave before he was able to check. is the other thing too like we know that he doesn't need to grind this much for the silver shield but he doesn't know that so to be safe he's going to take just buckets and buckets of money when in reality he probably could have gone a few chests ago and been fine but uh, again he has no way to right the last thing you want is to start your grind and not have enough and now home's coming to the same decision point and just outsiding right out but of course he already has his silver shield so doesn't need it yeah, Holmes and Tristel will pick up a little bit of time here because they know they don't really have the gold grind. Uh, they already have their silver shields. Um, so Diabetes is just going to lose not even that much time, but just a touch of time having to do a little extra gold grind. He'll still be quite happy to get his silver shield. Angel's going to try to get his silver shield now, and he does have enough. CD Improv, thanks for the raid. Uh, we appreciate uh, we appreciate it. Everybody coming in, welcome to Dragon Warrior Randomizer Tournament. Uh, this is the spring tournament. We're in the uh, this is the uh, semifinals, right? Next next week is the 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 end all be all decider of who is the the Dragon Warrior master of the tournament. <laughs> so uh, it's a great race uh, we've got going on with some top top runners. Uh, right now, everybody's really close. I think uh, it's fair enough to say that Angel FM kind of has a bit of a lead. He's got the experience lead. Um, equipment is equal to pretty much what all of our other runners have. Uh, we haven't completed quite everything that we need for our rainbow drop. And it's, uh, it's a good race so far. So you've come in at an exciting time. 
Yes, this is the also no numbers. So that's why you see a whole bunch of blanks up there. No numbers. What is their HP? We don't know. What is their strength? We don't know. We have general ideas, but we don't know. Um, you can see Angel getting a little, uh, getting a little uh, confident there, casting the Repel spell. He does have Hurt more, so he's probably going to be happy to hurt more, whatever he can find. And it looks like he's found himself another town. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Yeah, this one is a new one, so I think this has to be either Hawksness or Cantlin, I believe. That sounds about right. And it's Cantlin. He nopes right out of there. There isn't really anything that he wants from Cantlin. He's already got a silver shield. Um, perhaps there's a magic armor for sale, but you know he's, he's looking for better armor than that. Yeah, I was wondering if he might decide to check for full plate or magic armor. If it happens to be really cheap, um, or if you know, he might be able to afford it. But uh, he's thinking he's going to eventually get that Airdrix armor. And he's on a cave here. Could be Rainbow Drop Cave or could be Mountain Cave. Oh, this red dragon's not interested in letting us know. And so the fun police out in full force. Uh, of course, we call them the fun police because when they come out, the, the fun stops and you get sent back to the back to the pokey. The re king releases uh, <laughs> Angel FM back out into the world. Uh, don't have too much fun out there. Ooh, Mr. Holmes is trying for the full plate or magic armor. He tried for the full plate and did not have enough. Um, let's see if he... Looks like he's casting Repel and staying at the end, so I think he's going to pass on looking for magic armor and just be on his way as well. We'll see if he can get to that cave that Angel didn't quite make it to. Yeah. And, you know, I like this idea. I mean, grabbing... There is a very close shop that doesn't require too long, too many tiles to walk to. Um, and, you know, he gets to top off. He can top off his herbs while he's in there as well. I like the supply run uh, choice because I don't like running around without herbs. Yeah, herbs are nice. Um, it's just uh, if he runs into that red dragon, the herbs won't be very helpful. But otherwise, he'll be fine. Oh, Angel finding another one. Jeez. Angel apparently having way too much fun this evening, but he does get away. Ooh, running from the police. Now that... That is a very Elena thing to do, actually. So Angel FM has chose the, uh, chosen the, the correct sprite. Uh, for that action, but getting caught once more. We got red dragons on our, both of our left screens. Holmes gets sent home. Angel FM gets away a second time. Oh, Angel's about to find Cole and about to get that fairy flute. Um, I mean, I feel like Alina, shouldn't she just kick the red dragon? I mean, that would probably be very effective. Well, as as a red dragon, yes, but as like an authority figure police officer, the runaway thing is definitely more the Elena thing to do. I mean, just look at her and, and her, you know, relationship with her father. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing Tristel and Diabetes are kind of at a disadvantage here because Mr. Holmes, I mean, Yoshi can just eat a red dragon, apparently, and Alina, or, uh, Alina and Angel can just, I don't know, kick it into the ocean or something. What are poor Diabetes and Tristel supposed to do? Well, they, uh, they, they, you know, go to Cantlin and see what they can find uh, in that general area. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Tristel looks like he doesn't really care too much about looking around for full plates. Oh, he did get a magic arm already. I must have missed that. So Tristel's set on equipment. He definitely does not care about, uh, about weapons or armor anymore. He needs to find the Erdrick's armor, but that's not going to be in a shop. So he's just going to fill up and do one of those supply runs. And Angel makes it to this cave, which is the Jerk Cave over by... So now Angel FM having the knowledge of both the caves that he doesn't quite need just yet, uh, but will need sometime in the future. Yep, and he's got a town Hawksness, I do believe that has to be, and that's one of the six spots left that could have the uh, uh, that could have the harp that he's looking. Around. Yes, and Hawksness, of course, um, appropriately placed in the desert and swampy area. Of this map, he finds an armor knight, so a couple of hurt more should put this down. Yep, two hurt more is pretty much guaranteed to kill it. And depending on what's here, I wouldn't be surprised if he, he takes a couple more. Yeah, maybe. It kind of depends on how good they think. I guess they're only level 11, but ooh, he gets an armor. Very nice. So. 
Armor is not in Sherlock. Armor is in Hawksness. I wonder if Diabetes and Mr. Holmes will be right behind him there. Oh, there's Sherlock right there. I think it's pretty linear past uh, past Cantlin. I think you have to go to Jerk Cave, and I think Hawksness and Sherlock are right by there. Yep, there's Diabetes and Hawksness as well, so he's about to double hurt more and Armored Knight and get his armor. Mr. Holmes got sent home, but I'm sure he's going to be back in that same area exploring too. Yeah, there's pretty much, uh, as you said, it's it's fairly linear path here, kind of only one way for our runners to go. So uh, we'll see the last thing that uh, Angel FM needs to find, really all of our runners, if if they haven't found it, is the, uh, the Staff of Rain. Ooh, I was about to say Angel had an advantage there because he was already down there in Sherlock, in the Sherlock area where Mountain Cave probably is. Did not use the Fairy Flute to put that golem to sleep and got a uh, DL2 breath to the face. So he's got to start over from home as well. So now Diabetes. We'll see if uh, Diabetes can can move on and find... Uh, well, he's going to find Sharlock to see if he can find Mountain Cave. Mountain Cave's got to have that harp, I believe, and that's our one last location we need. And if he's able to grab that, that can definitely give him uh, uh, an opportunity to kind of uh, sweep forward and, and uh, take a, a good... Uh, lead on this not too far behind angel fm angel fm at level 11 diabetes the second at level 10 uh holmes and uh, mr holmes and tristle mtg both at, at nine so with regards to the experience uh the bottom of the screen has has got that lead and they're both pretty much have pushed exploration as far as it's gone as well yeah this is a spot where i would say that uh experience lead is not a big deal because if you get that harp first and you do all your errands first and you settle into a grind um, you know, you go to a Hawksness to grind that Armored Knight, or maybe Swamp Cave has something nice to grind. Uh, you have Hurtmore, you have Erdrick's, uh, Erdrick's Sword, you are going to get a lot of experience really fast. So if you find the Harp while other people are fumbling around trying to find it, oh, that experience lead will disappear. And speaking of find it, I think Diabetes, oh, he had a cave in the lower right, I don't know if he saw it or not, but I think that has to be Mountain Cave in the lower right if he goes over there. Meanwhile, Angel FM has opted to make his way to Garen's grave, uh, probably checking for that bottom bottom chest. So he's going to be disappointed that it's the gold there. Oh man, this definitely evens it right back up. He's taking a little bit of time. It's not a ton of time, but a little bit of time. While Diabetes is off finding his uh, his harp, and even Mr. Holmes is back on the trail down to uh, Cantlin and down to that whole area. Um, he's checking this chest that we know has got nothing in it. Uh, Tristel in that same area too, in Hawksness finding his armor. So Tristel's going to find Sherlock, going to find Mountain Cave, going to find his harp. This is going to be real quick to the rainbow drop here so we should be seeing uh our runners really settling into to where they start trying to feel out where they're going to be comfortable taking on a dragon lord um and honestly this armor knight here at hawksness uh, it makes for a really good grindable area depending on how long they can make their mp you know last and stretch out for the hurt mores. But it can also give them an idea, you know, if they swing on that, they can use that to kind of gauge where is my strength right now with regard to like a hurt more and a swing. Is that enough to take him out? Yeah, Diabetes getting the harp. I guess he's looking around for maybe a death necklace or a fighter's ring. The stone man is not really letting him go away, though. But he has the harp. He has all three key items. And he's just going to finish checking mountain in case there's something there. Tristel takes out his armored knight and has the armor, Erdrick's armor as well. So he's in good shape. get a fighter's ring on diabetes the second in the uh basement uh, or not the basement i'm sorry the uh the mountain cave that's a good question z man i don't know if if, uh, if uh diabetes has seen garenham yet he does need to know garenham for the harp cave i'm not sure if he has angel finding uh bonus cave not what he was looking for so he's gonna or what he's yeah he's really looking for mountain cave and he's about to find it's just south of where he is so he walks a little south and he's uh he'll be there mr holmes on in hawksness about to get his armor as well and do the whole hawksness sherlock mountain cave and it looks like diabetes second did not have enough magic to cast outside so even when you have outside it's like it's not there i'm very used to that situation yeah, so if I'm Diabetes, I'm especially wondering how much MP I have, considering the uh, the no MP spell has popped up uh, for outside twice on his screen already. So he's got to be wondering that. I... They will get a pretty good in idea of how much MP they have if they start hurt mooring this Armored Knight, though, when they get to the grind time. It looks like Angel FM has made his way to the Mountain Cave, so he'll get his harp uh, shortly as well. So 
Um, Thidi B just the second, just making his way out of the cave as Angel FM uh, dips his way in. Yeah, and Mr. Holmes and Tristel both in that same area. Mr. Holmes uh, looks like he's wandering around just a little north of where Mountain Cave is. And of course, Tristel taking a little bit of time to get some experience while he's in the air. Stats aside, our runners know they're going to need at least heal more to go. So without heal more showing up, they know they need more experience. They know they need more level. So we've got Diabetes the second. I don't know if he has seen the Staff of Rain Cave yet. That was the one that's in the uh, the the Garenham behind Garenham, correct? Yep, that's in Garenham, and then uh, Rainbow Drop Cave is right near Shar right near Sherlock and Cantlin Hawks. Angel does find a fighter's ring. That's plus two attack power, so that's uh, I mean, that's something to grab, for sure. He's still looking for the harp, which he'll have in just a second, but uh, definitely the fighter's ring and two more attack power. That will definitely... Diabetes second. Uh, using that repel spell to knock away some of the lower level monsters uh, so that the things that he fights will be things appropriate for his, uh, you know, the experience that he needs, as well as just not being bothered by um, things that take up time on the overworld. All right, so Angel's got his harp. He's got his fighter's ring even, too. He's going to be on his way to harp cave. He's going to be on his way to jerk cave. He has his rainbow drop. He's on his way to level 12, right? Ooh, with double-digit agility, it looks like. And uh, was that double-digit magic? It flashed by a little too fast. I didn't catch the double digits, but I thought I saw a new spell. And there's the heal more that uh, they definitely need for the end. So Angel FM pretty much, um, he has to just turn in the items. He knows where to go to do that. And then he is in a grind-and-go situation. And actually, it looks like Garenham is just a little north uh, northwest of, um, of uh, Sherlock. So actually... Diabetes, Tristel, Mr. Holmes, all in that general area, too. If they explore the northwest, they'll get to Garenham. So Diabetes it doesn't look like he's seen Garenham yet, but he's hunting around, and he'll be in that direction shortly, I'm sure. Uh, another thing to mention about these flags, too, is that um, you don't get to see any numbers except when you're fighting the next form of Dragon Lord. All the numbers pop up there. So our runners, like, for example, Angel could decide, maybe I'm ready to take a swing, and he'd go and he could fight the big dragon lord and uh and get all the numbers to pop up and see what his hp is what his mp is get an idea of his strength base his attack ranges all that yes cyber Wreck, i was trying to find other names for him like the big dragon lord and the next dragon lord because <laughs> you know no numbers the dragon lord that's after the dragon lord that comes first no wait first is a number isn't it oh, oh we got I'm you. horrible at this dragon lord the sequel Dragon Lord Junior, Senior. I don't know which uh which which the big one would be. Oh man, Sigma fan with the tic tac toe dragon. Dang, there's a reference. Nice. All right, so Angel is got his he got his staff of rain, and it looks like he's gonna check out Swamp Cave to see if there's something more friendly there. I'm guessing for. Swamp Cave is on the way back down to Hoxus and Cantlin and all that stuff, so I guess he figures he'll pop in and check it out. Could be. See what's on that uh, grind tile. Maybe it's better than an Axe Knight. Is this Blue Dragon what was on the tile? Or is... No, this is the Blue Dragon that's just hunting the halls there, huh? Yeah, the Blue Dragon is sort of wandering around. Um, Angel swung at this Blue Dragon a whole bunch. That might make him feel like he's not quite ready to go yet. Might want to grind another level or two. They are only level 12, so even if they have high strength for their level. The Angel FM again opting not to cast the Fairy Flute. Almost pays the price, but gets away the same. And the tile has another golem. Ooh, yeah, even with the Fairy Flute, uh, probably better to go to Hawksness and get that Armored Knight. Hawksness, uh, not too far away from Cantlin. 
Uh, Diabetes does have Garen Ham. He's checking, I guess, for a death necklace just in case. And he's about to get his harp cave. He's seen Rainbow Drop Cave, so he's good to go there. His quest item, Mr. Holmes, also finding Garen Ham. He's good, going to be good to go in a second. Tristel, very, very upset at these armored knights. Going to hurt more, a few more of them. And an interesting choice on Tristel's case, because that uh, that does kind of put him, you know, at the moment, a moment ago, he was uh, behind Diabetes the second in terms of his his experience, and now he's he's caught up to Angel FM and continuing to to push his experience further. And knowing that, well, he doesn't know this, but the the rest of the items that he needs and places he needs to go is just right around the corner. Um, we'll see how this plays out for him as as the end game is rapidly approaching. Showing no stones of sunlight for Crystal. Did he not check the Remolder chest? I thought they all had, but did he not check it along the way? Ooh, meanwhile, Diabetes getting smashed by a golem. Uh, Angel in Sharlock, possibly about to do a stats check here. Diabetes getting sent back home. It's not the worst thing ever. Rainbow Drop Cave, not super far from the castle, just a little southwest, and uh, it's not too. So Angel FM tearing is trying his luck against the uh, Stone Man there, and able to take him down. Uh, took quite a few swings again to, to but you know, Stone Men's do have a high, high amount of health, but is no less for wear and is making a beeline for the Dragon Lord, so probably going there, as you said, to, to check the stats or at least check um, you know, the HPMP and see see what he can do. Maybe yeah, get a couple swings in there. Wonder if he's checking the spike tile, though I mean Armored Knight and Hawksense is a pretty nice grind, so he might be doing a, a check. He's definitely using a lot of magic on the way, so he's not not that he's gonna win right here, but he's definitely looking to get some information. Right. If it turns out to be an Axe Knight, for example, which we, we see on the screen there, um, an Axe Knight is pretty much, unless it has some nasty abilities um, or resistances, it's it's pretty much the, the fastest experience uh, tile that, that you can get. Like, if you have Hurt Moors to spare, um, Axe Knights can get you a lot of experience very, very quickly. And... Yeah, another thing to mention, too, is that... Um... Uh, you know, Angel's going to check his stats. He also gets to kill a bunch of these high-value enemies on his way in, so it won't be quite as fast as Tristel on the Armored Knight tile, getting a guaranteed encounter every two steps. But he's also he's, he's making some progress toward the next level while he's getting a stats check. So I think he just hit, killed that in five shots, I want to say. And uh, Z-Man pointing out the fourth shot earlier on the Stone Man, so uh, average is strength. Again, good for level 12, but Average is uh, you know, the big dragon lord go. Right. So not uh, quite where he wants to be, I would say, but definitely the knowledge that he's going to gain from this as well, and is going to be helpful, very, very helpful for gauging. You know, do I want to go one more level, two more levels? Well, let's find out. So Diabetes and Holmes both with their rainbow drop and about to start their grind. Holmes looks like he's making a beeline for Hawksness and Diabetes heading that same direction. Tristel in the meantime has found Mountain Cave, so he's going to have his harp shortly. And uh, I'm not sure if he's, I think he's seen Garenham, so he'll go around and collect his stuff too and be on the grind quickly. He was doing grinding earlier though, remember? So even though it looks like he's a touch behind, he did his grinding a little bit ahead of time. Or some of his grinding a little bit ahead of time. And Angel FM gets the level 13 and then opts to outside without fighting the Dragon Lord. He's going to stock up or, you know, use the inn, top off, and probably dive back down there again. Uh, or perhaps go to the Armor Knight now that he knows what's at there. So it'll be interesting to see where he decides to go with that. Yeah, and the grind portion's really interesting, too, because you'll see, I'm, I'm guessing, um, I think a few people said in chat, too, I'm guessing you'll eventually see our runners try to hurt more, maybe attack to try to gauge, like, where their strength is. Can they reliably hurt more and swing at this Armored Knight and kill it? Just to get some sort of idea of how strong they are. Um, 
maybe they'll wait a level or two. I'm, I'm sure Mr. Holmes and uh, Diabetes kind of realize their levels, they're only level 11, I believe, um, is a little low and they're probably not ready to go regardless. Actually, at 11, they don't have heal more yet, do they? Not quite yet. I think heal more came at level 12. So they know they need more levels regardless. But uh, yeah, eventually we'll see. They'll, they'll probably start testing the waters a little bit and seeing maybe how many times it take him to kill the uh, the the armored knight, how many swings and so forth. His diabetes goes to 12 and gets his heal more speed. Right, and that gives him, you know, probably, you know, dump you know, dump a level or two of, of MP into him, or, you know, a trip back to the end until you're down to zero. Then maybe start giving that, that swing. You know, see how many levels I can get just off of this, uh, and then go, like you said. So, meanwhile, Angel FM, heading back to Sherlock? No, heading for the Armor Knight. Little surprised. I guess they are only level 12, or 13, Angel's 13. But um, as, uh, as, as chat mentioned, and thank you for counting, because I lost count, um, but Angel did a little trick where he sat at the inn, he went to the inn, and he uh, after the inn, he casted heal mores until it said he couldn't. And he had 13, 13 heal mores, so they've got a lot of MP on, on hand already. And we know their strength is is pretty high. Um, I guess Angel, based on that blue dragon, realizing that maybe it's not high enough, even with 13 heal mores. Um, but he got a good idea of how much MP he had with that little inn trick there. All right, so he'll uh, burn up another level uh, at 13. So from 13 to 14, you need about uh, 1,500 experience total. Uh, these Armor Knights uh, give excellent uh, experience. They're hitting at, um, how much do they give? 172, I want to say, something like that. So you're looking at, what, eight of them to, to get to the next level? Yep, and another thing, too, and maybe that's why Angel did a little peek into Sharlock because he didn't know how much MP he had. Once he found he had 13 heal mores, chat converting that into hurt mores um, like it's currency exchange or something but that's a lot of hurt mores at least 20 hurt mores so he knows he can sit here and hurt more of these Arbored Knights for a very 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 long Alright so that's why you like to you know travel to, to, to hurt more countries because your MP will will go further <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a wise economic decision there Yeah, it absolutely is. You just got to be careful about those commissions. Um, but uh, yeah, Mr. Holmes is in on Hawksness, Armored Knight. And we're about to see quad Armored Knights because Tristel just picked up his Staff of Rain. He's going to go to a Rainbow Drop, get his Rainbow Drop. Guess what's right outside Rainbow Drop Cave? This little Armored... So I do want to, uh, you know, just uh, make sure everybody understands that no Armored Knights were actually harmed in the recording of this video. Uh, so this is all just fun and, uh, for fun, you know, they're, they're all okay. They're actors. Um, they're doing a great job too. Oh no, I think today is a very, very bad day to be an armored knight. I'd get rid of that armor if I were any of these knights. Yes, I don't think our, our runners have, have laid a finger on a, a, an actual, like, knight knight. So I think you're right. It probably is a better day to be a knight than an armor knight today. I'm just a regular old knight. Don't mind me. You want to repel me, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, at this point, with exploration all being the same, everyone's got full equipment, full um, full gear, uh, pretty much the same information, too, even. Angel's got a little information about Sherlock. Tristel may be going to go do an information check as well. I think we can give a little edge to Angel now, though. He's got the experience lead as we all have uh, sort of settled into grinding going. He even has a little more extra information about Sharlock, so looks like he's got a little bit of an edge, right? Yes, he also has that information about his MP and how much he has, so being able to just know I can sit here and grind, 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 grind. I have my level. Looks like single digit on the power, but power nonetheless. Yeah, and I mean, Mr. Holmes and uh, Diabetes are getting similar ideas too. They didn't, uh, they didn't have to sit out outside the inning cast heal mores, but they've been hurt more in this uh, this armor night for a while. So they've got a good idea that they have a lot of MP. Um, depending on if they were, you know, keeping track of exactly how many hurt mores, they might know exactly how much MP. But at the very least, they know they've been there for a while, and they know that they've got uh, a significant amount. Blink blink I'm gone pointing out that uh, uh, double run block from a Drakey because agility is just a blank. 
Yes, agility is just a blank. What the... Uh, what's agility? It, it, it doesn't exist. Apparently not. Apparently not. So let's see, Tristel is gonna go and... Looks like he is gonna start a Dragonlord fight to get a, uh, a stats check here. So this will tell us a little bit of uh, knowledge about level 12. So being called a fool. So of course we'll get to see the, uh, well, HP and MP, although he's taken a little bit of damage from this Dragon Lord and hurt more, of course. We'll be able to see the HP and MP. Um, we'll be able to see, probably more importantly, uh, how much damage he deals to the Dragon Lord for an idea of strength. Uh, to some extent, how much the Dragon Lord hits him for, though that's usually a wide range, so it's tough to... So far, it's looking like a Force Ring DL1, so definitely on the lower end, uh, at least based off of that part of it. Wow, Tristel still with 94 MP. It looks like he's got about 92 uh, hit points max. Oh, the first swing for one, and then a failed attack. That's that's yeah, that's low strength, very low strength. A zero and a one. Uh, we've got some grinding to do. Bad day to so, be an armored knight. So if he had about 200 heal mores, he'd be able to take that fight, but uh, not, not right now. Yeah, so as Smashy points out, uh, 99 or less attack power, I think, right? Uh, I think that's correct, because you're always a 0 or a 1, right? Even if you're a 0. Or negative, uh, based off of the formula. The formula is your attack power minus 100 divided by 2, that's your maximum. And you take your attack power minus 100 and divide it by 4, that's your minimum. So, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, so I guess they technically could have 101 and their max would... And that would round down still, but yeah, it's not... It's not enough. It's definitely not enough. So yep, Tristel with that information, that knowledge, moving to uh, the Armored Knight. And he's going to grind out several levels. That was on 13. We saw 14, Angel get 14. I think you pointed out, Vale, that uh, uh, it was single-digit power, so... Even if it was a 9, that might help a little bit, but not not going to be enough. Right, so that actually might play into uh, decisions about how long to sit and grind as Angel FM. Maybe, I'm not sure if he ran out of MP, but he's going back to, to top off there. I would guess he was low on MP. I don't think he picked up 15, so I don't... Uh... I don't think he'd be going yet. Um, I do wonder how long it is before he wants to go try, though, um, because he does know he has a lot of MP, and he has not he has not done a stats check yet. We actually saw with Tristel, it didn't take all that long to go in and check the stats. And Tristel also was killing stuff on the way in, so you do pick up a little experience, not as much as sitting on these armored knights, but you pick up a little experience and a lot of knowledge, but uh, Angel's going to wait until at least 15 to go try. So it looks like we'll be watching pretty much Armor Knights for, for the foreseeable short, short future. Uh, while this is uh, happening, you might want to follow our runners, uh, Mr. Holmes, Tristel MTG, Angel FM, uh, and Diabetes the Second. Give them some support over on their channels. They uh, play these games a lot, so if you like what you're seeing, you can uh, kind of watch it in there and, and uh, you know enjoy that. As well as uh, give a follow to our restreamer, Ari Messi. Uh, as well as myself, Velu V, and Ragai3745, uh, as well as our tracker, Cybar, uh, Cybar Dark, Cyberdark86, and Centroid41. Uh, and uh, yeah, that would be very appreciated. And speaking of Cyberdark, by the way, I think he was the one that gave us that great look at Dragonlord stats. It was very informative. No numbers like everything else, so thank you. Uh, a reminder that uh, this is a very close race, but the top two get to go on to the grand finals next week so um very close very very close for the top two but you do not have to win this race you have to um just have to finish in the top two um they're going to go on to play the other two top finishers in the other semi-final uh high spirits and um uh, who's the other one i, uh, I swear i can all oh, who was that who was that do you remember who it was Vale? I, I, mm, who was that the other person that, that finished hold on i gotta pull up my uh my chart here where's the uh oh, where's the no. results 
I think it was someone who was just looking at Armored Knight a second ago. <laughs> that was Cyberdark. Cyberdark was the other one. I'm just giving him a hard time. Oh, yes. That's right. Cyberdark. He did it. He, uh, yes. So they'll be taking on uh, uh, the, the finals there. <laughs> you even threw me for a loop there. No number seed and Cyberdark86 won a no number seed. I mean, how was that not fixed, right? Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, looks like we do have Diabetes going to go make a check here and see what his numbers are like. We already know 13 is going to go poorly, but uh, we'll see. Angel got 15 and is still on these Armored Knights. It looks like... Interesting approach from Angel. I'm really surprised. He knows he has a lot of MP. I guess he got a really good indication of his strength from those uh, red uh, blue dragon fights, knowing that the strength is just not there on 15. I um, I feel like I probably would have given it a try on 15, but I'm also very bad at this mode. So. Right. I mean, there he's got to have that that strength to be able to to take on the dragon lord. I think he might have an idea of where they are in terms of. Uh... In terms of his hit points as well, as he's been in the red a few times, so you can kind of gauge like, okay, I've been hit this many times, um, so my health isn't my, you know, both of those were low when we saw Tristel drop down at, uh, now that was level 13, so, I mean, their, their stats aren't there, so it makes sense to, you know, take a, take as much as you can. Right, and I mean, Angel hasn't checked yet, but we know from Tristel's battle, and we know from Diabetes' battle, or upcoming battle too, we're going to find out the same thing. But yeah, Tristel's HP was a little low. I think his max was Max Healmore kept taking him to 92, I want to say. And um, we saw he was barely doing any damage. So he was at best, you know, 101, 102 strength. So even though we know that 15 is probably not enough because, you know, how much strength an angel could he have possibly gotten? What, like 18? The last two levels was be max. Um, we know that 15 is not enough. I'm just surprised angel hasn't gone to check it. He must have gotten a really good indication from that blue dragon when he went into Sherlock that he just wasn't there. Yeah, so that blue dragon, I think it took him five or six swing out. So absolutely, has that has it felt? You can you can kind of you can feel you know whether where where your thing is, your strength is just by, you know how you're taking out other monsters, and our runners have very uh, very versed in this game. They they play it quite a bit, so they they they, they can you can kind of sense it you know without having to check your stats. Yeah, interesting that actually diabetes is going to get uh, fourteen here. He got 14 on the way in, 96 HP on 14, so 15's going to have enough HP. Uh, he hit for 2, so congratulations. I think we have at least 104 strength now. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. Well, he's doing 2 to 3, so... So a little better. There was there was some some minor gains. Not nearly enough, though. And the hit points making the, the death necklace not viable. Not that anybody has found it. Um... Yeah, so there's a 4. So maybe my 108 or something like that is a high. If the 4 was a max roll, we could be looking at maybe 108 or something like that. But yeah, still... Um, oh, we're still going to want bleh, 20 more strength or something like At least. All right, so again, Axe or uh, Armor Knights for the foreseeable future. A lot of hurt mores, a lot of red armor pieces melted to the ground behind Sherlock or er, behind the uh, the armor shop in Hawksnest. That's really yeah, all Erdrick's armor. armor is. It's just melted down Armor Knights from this seed. Yeah, if you want armor, head there. Um, Jubail asking the question, was there a chance of diabetes? Probably not, probably not. But um, the big thing is that's the only place you can see any numbers is in that second Dragon Lord fight. So um, he did get some, he did pick up a level going in and he got an idea of where his, uh, his stats were. And so in this mode where you can't see any numbers, that's kind of a strategy. It doesn't take that long since it's short Sherlock to wander in. And so he can get a really good uh, sense of where his, his stats are and how many more levels he needs. Like now he knows he probably needs... 20 25 more power so he knows like when he gets level 15 like uh maybe let's not try again on 15 so it's just a just a strategy to help him kind of figure out where he's at
Other thing to mention too that's kind of funny, we're talking about the strength, all the strength's not there, usually 15, you have enough strength, etc. I remember an hour and four minutes ago, the very first thing that happened was uh, one-shotting a Drakey, and then I think it was Tristel, just like two or three shot a Scorpion, we're saying like, wow, they have such high strength. And in typical randomizer fashion, they must have gotten some really bad strength gains along the way there, because uh, now an hour later we're saying like, oh, where's the strength, where's the strength? All right, so again, randomizer proving the uh, the statistics right, regressing back to the mean. 15, not enough. Going to have to continue up to 16. Uh, and probably, well, we'll see. We'll see where, where they go from there. And Angel FM topping off. Uh, Diabetes the second, second. Uh, Holmes and Tristel MTG all settled into their grind. Uh, Holmes seems significantly behind in the uh, in the levels. Did he take a, a detour there, or did he just get started that much later? I thought he started the same time as uh, Tristel MTG. And they all started around the same time. I'm not sure if uh, Mr. Holmes is on 12 or not. I lost count of his levels, honestly, but uh, uh, I would assume he's at the similar level to everyone else. He's been doing the grind the same amount of time. But yeah, I think the big thing for Diabetes, and maybe Angel, because he's, like he's got a really good sense of where his strength is, but Diabetes kind of knows that his strength, like I was saying, he probably needs like 20 to 30 more strength, honestly. And so he knows that's probably three or four more levels. So he knows like not even to bother trying on 15, probably not even try on 16. You see the Angel on 16, not even going to think about it. He's going back to the Armored Knights again. Um, but yeah, Diabetes knows that he probably needs like three to four more levels of strength. So um, he did get some good information out of that. So we need a uh, not to add any more or more duties to our stat trackers, but do we do we have an idea of how many Axe Knights have died in this seed? Let's try to figure it out. So there's there's how many Axe Knights per level? We, we got about what eight, ten, ten, twelve somewhere in there. So let's let's call it ten. They picked up what four or five levels on these Axe Knights so far. So about two hundred Axe Knights down so far. Would you say across all four screens? Does that sound about right? It is a really bad day to be an armored knight. Like seriously, guys, start spray painting your armor a different color or something. But don't, don't do this. Like, don't. don't. All right. Was I calling those axe knights? I did mean armor knights. And CD Improv. Yes, that is correct. There are blank, blank, blank axe knights. That's how many have gone down. But at least in the blank, blank, blanks. Yes, blank, blank, blank axe knights or multiple <laughs> have gone down. Either answer acceptable for sure. Scores of scores. I'm always impressed here. Like, Mr. Holmes has a good idea of his MP, I guess, because he did not get the MP is too low message, and yet he's going right on back to Cole to refill. So, uh, good idea. Even though they can't see the numbers, the runners definitely have a really good sense of what their stat. Sigma fan with the match game reference too. You know, we play a little match game here, Vale. Uh, um, they've hurt more so many Axe Knights. How many Axe Knights have they murdered? They've murdered blank Axe Knight. Right. Yes. Absolutely. I I get that reference. He said questioningly. I don't know match game. I'm sorry. That's on you, right guy. Blank, blank, oh, blank, blank. No. Nope. Sorry. No humming. There's no numbers and no humming. Special flags for this week. No singing allowed.
Meantime, Angel picked up 16. I don't think we saw him get 16, did we? Um, and maybe thinking about going? Let's see if he heads back to Hawksness. Oh, he does. He makes the turn. He heads Looks like he's just going there to top off resources. Um, seems a little preliminary to do that if he's going to go back and grind, but, uh, you know, it's good to have all of your resources. Maybe he's trying to take it all the way to 17 without having to go back. Yeah, and again, we kind of know that's the right move, seeing Diabetes fight on 14, um, but that's kind of impressive that he has that idea, because, man, if I get 16, I'm, I'm chomping the bit to try. Like, as, as, as mentioned in chat, 16 is usually enough to win, and... Um, in this case, Angel with a really good sense that 16 is not going to get the job done. He didn't even really consider it, I don't think. He just went right back to this grind. That's the other thing with this, too, is as this grind is going on and you're, you know, sitting on 15 or 16. Well, Tristel and Diabetes have the information because they went and fought. But you're sitting on 15 or 16, you start getting a little, uh, little antsy because um you know you do want to be in the top two and what if uh, what if 16 is enough and one of your competitors is going for it on 16 and you're sitting here grinding for 17 it would be um uh, it would be pretty pretty tempting to go aramessi mentioning that uh, angel's been checking his uh his strength in the armored knight so that's also helping give him a good idea that uh maybe not quite there yet i think we see uh, mr holmes attacking too so mr holmes doing some checks as well to see how many times it takes him to kill the Armored Knight. So our runners, uh, you know, we see four Armored Knights up there, but they're doing a little more than just hurt more. And they're, they're throwing a lot of hurt mores. They're doing a little more to help figure out their strength and getting really good ideas of where it is. It looks like nobody is really happy with where it is right now as we continue to see red suits of armor and gold shields and gold axes and those really, really fancy mohawks that they have. Are those mohawks, or is that the top of their helmet? Like, I never realized, never figured that out. Yeah, I think it's kind of both, you know. I, I, I like to imagine that it's that, that the helmet has, like, a mohawk shape opening, and then it's an actual mohawk that comes out that's their actual hair. So I did see Angel test his uh, level 17 strength in the Armored Knight, and he took four shots. So doesn't look like he's very happy about that, and he's back on the Hurtmore grind. And Diabetes the second making his way back to the Hawksness grind tile. Tristel MTG topping off in the town of Cole. Mr. Holmes right behind him, following him straight to that inn. One thing I wonder about, um, Sigma pointing out that Angel uh, got 17, all single digits except for the HP was double digits. Now we saw the HP on Diabetes side was 96 on level 14. So if you toss in a couple regular old levels and a double digit level, you might be in the general area of Death Necklace uh, HP. And uh, now the Death Necklace could be in Sherlock. There are six treasure chests, seven treasure chests. Yeah, seven in Sharlock. Or there could be an overworld item. The Death Necklace could be the overworld item, in which case you're not going to basically ever get it. So I wonder if uh, any of our runners go check that Death Necklace in Sharlock. Be an uh, interesting move, especially since they don't know exactly where that hit points are. Um, but it definitely puts it, you know, on the table. Um, just hopefully not the judge's table. Well, remember, short Sherlock, so the judge's table is just a little stairway right near the treasury. So in this case, it's not that bad if it's... True, true. But still, it's it's the furthest chest that they would be able to get to. Unless, of course, it's the overworld, as you said. Yeah, the worst would be if the judges were judging from some random forest tile out in the middle of nowhere. That would be the worst judges table to have to go look for it. So yeah, as, uh, <laughs> as mentioned in chat, this is really where I think, uh, even though it's kind of super exciting to watch a bunch of armor knight gets hurt get hurt more you are seeing like our runners probing and kind of testing to see uh exactly where their stats are and this is where uh, mr holmes and angel have made up a lot of time tristel and diabetes did go in and do dl dl fights uh, angel did go into sherlock to check it uh, but didn't do a dl fight and so by being able to kind of figure out their stats without having to take the time away from this really efficient grind 
uh, you know, that's, that's giving them a little bit of an advantage here um, over the other two who did have to uh, take a little bit of time to check their stats at Dragonlord, who did. Of course, to get from level 17 to 18, you need 2,250 uh, experience points. So it does get starting to get a little bit spread out here. So each each level requiring just a little bit more, a um, little bit more more armor knight to take out. Armor knight steaks, fillets. What are armor knights made out of? What what part of the armor knight do you eat? I don't know, but Shala Kitty, thank you, and Free Enterprise, thank you for raiding. We're in the middle of a uh, no numbers ra race here, and um, currently grinding. This is, uh, we were just mentioning, this is kind of interesting, though, because with no numbers, our runners are kind of uh, feeling out their stats, and uh, the big thing here is going to be who decides to go. Chat's been pointing out that... Uh, um, I always do that, Scala Kitty. Sorry, sorry. Um, but uh, it's going to be very interesting to see which one runners goes, which one takes a little extra time, maybe levels extra. Um, to uh, uh, to get this race finished. That's where this could be won or lost, is who goes on the right level and who figures out what the right level is. And so at this time, Angel FM does have the experience lead the only runner to make it to level 17. Um, just right behind him, we've got uh, Diabetes the second and Tristel MPG at level 16, and Mr. Holmes, again, right behind him at level 15. So, uh, but right now, the experience lead is in Angel FM's hand. He also has pretty much all the, the knowledge that uh, that can be gleaned uh, at this point, uh, except for perhaps where the Death Necklace is, um, which may or may not come into play in this seed. Yeah, and as you mentioned, this is kind of big. This is not like the difference between going on 13 and 14 where the, the experience is, you know, a 1,000 or something like that. This is like 18 to 19 is a lot of experience. That's what, 2,000, I think? 3,000, I think? Um, 3,000. So, I mean, that's pretty significant. If you can go on 18, but you stick around for 19, oof, that's, that's, that's a lot of time, even with these quick armored knights. As we see Angel does get 18, and I see two digits of power. I wonder if that's going to and two digits of HP. He looks like he's uh, on the move. Absolutely. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you mentioned that the, the amount of time it takes with short Sherlock as well. You could potentially get two attempts at the Dragon Lord in the time it takes to get one of those levels. Um, which, you know, if you're right on the bubble, uh, that could make that the, the, you know, the riskier move, even, you know, if you have time to do two attempts. Yeah, thankfully, short Sherlock, you can get in and it doesn't take you that much time. But the flip side is, and all the runners, of course, know this, uh, even if it doesn't take that much time, this armored knight grind is so efficient that, um, you know, any time that you take, uh, you're going to have your competitors are going to be getting experience like mad, so... You want to be a little careful. You don't want to be just be uh, gambling and throwing up, you know, five percent chances. But yeah, Angels had a couple of double-digit HPs and now double-digit power. I think uh, this is definitely a good time for him to try this out. I'm just making a run all the way there, conserving his resources, not even bothering with Stone Man. This is definitely going to be a serious uh, attempt, so we'll have our first um, not-for-information uh, attempt at Dragonlord uh, just as soon as Angel FM can make his way through the, uh, through the bridges uh, and past the blue dragon that's guarding him. Yeah, Angel will get one last sort of quick strength check, although he has a pretty good idea he's ready, but he'll get one, good, uh, one last good idea about this blue dragon. As he takes the blue dragon down in three shots, that's usually pretty good. Yeah, three shots is a good indicator that we're we're in that right range. And Beta mentioning too, the MP is also pretty high, so we'll we'll see the exact stats in just a moment here. But uh, the three shot of blue dragon have a lot of heal mores, looking like 18 is a pretty good. Two shotting DL one. I just dispatched that dragon lord like nothing and oh my goodness they've got a lot of everything and he's hitting the dragon lord for 21 and 16 so we're yeah, already at 37 yeah. 
I don't know what 18 had as far as power. It feels like 18 had like, I don't know, 30 power or something like that. Because we saw Angel took like four or five swings. Was it four swings on an, on an armored knight on 17? Was very unhappy with it. And now all of a sudden, 16, 21. I mean, 18 must have just been one of those silly like 30 power levels or something. Because this is just, yeah, this is pretty much in the back. Yeah, I think short of a, a miss menu here, this is this is Angel's race to to win. So we'll uh, we'll see him take it uh, take down his Dragon Lord. So get those GGs ready. I mean, I think he just healed up to 151 hit points there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile, we're gonna about to find out. Smashy's saying this might be winnable on 17. Well, Tristel's about to put that to the test because Tristel's going on 17. Mr. Holmes looks like he's gonna try 16. And uh, Diabetes is also on his way to Sherlock. We're going to have three Sherlocks at the same time. And so, Angel FM taking his last few swings on his Dragon Lord. He has done it. Uh, the Disco Ball has come out. He just needs to make his way to Sherlock Castle, uh, talk to the king, and uh, his timer will stop. So, again, good game to Angel FM. But what we have right now is the race for second place. Again, the top two uh, finishers advance to the final. So this race for second place, just as important as the as, as what we just saw. Tristel MTG, the first to make it to, or I guess the second to make it to Dragonlord for a serious run, run at it. Yeah, it's a really good game from Angel. That's his first Dragon Lord fight. He did not fight the Dragon Lord before that, so he had a really good, uh, really good idea of his stats. He did go into Sherlock to the Spike Tile, but he really had a good idea of his stats, and he was very un unhappy with 17. So we'll see. Uh, we'll ask him why in a minute here. Um, we'll also see if Crystal and uh, Diabetes can do this on 17. And Z-Man pointing out, based on that Dragon Lord one fight, uh, oof, 17 might not be enough. There's a Another 10. Yeah, 18 must have had Two ungodly tens. power. Oof, a 7. I don't know. They do have a lot of uh, a lot of HP. They might be able to pull doubles out, but uh, oof, 7, 7, 10. Looks like Diabetes is also about to get the bad news. Now, there is a lot of MP, though, so that that does kind of balance things out. They've got lots of hit points. Doubles can happen, you know, with the health that they have. They do. They do have a lot of MP, and they do have a lot of HP, so they will get a lot of doubles. Um, I wasn't counting on Angel's side because it was pretty much in the bag, but um, if, a if Dragonlord has high HP, I wonder if that might be a factor. Zarnax pointing out the fairy waters that Mr. Holmes picked up. All of our runners on 17 going for that second place. Mr. Holmes also picked up level 17 from that blue dragon right before the fight. Yeah, I wonder if Mr. Holmes fairy waters his way. That would be impressive. Oh, there he goes. He's throwing fairy waters. And a 15 on the fairy water. Much better than the attack. Very nice. Good heads up play there, uh, utilizing all of the kind of tricks in the bag to try to get it and uh, eke out uh, the second place here, eke out his position in the finals. Yeah, that uh, that fairy water is pretty big, and also the um, as as um, uh, as chat points out, menu wing might come down to it too. It's that close. Yeah, Tristel did start the fight first. Diabetes started at second. Mr. Holmes third. But Mr. Holmes used some fairy water and maybe do a little more damage than the other two. So this is uh, neck and neck for sure. Absolutely. So it sounds like we might have Angel FM in the uh, booth in just a few moments. All right, we're getting down to... Uh... Get down to crunch time here for Tristel. He's down to three more heal more, so he's got a good chance for a double here. Always thinking about it on 48. Always thinking long and hard about it. Decides not to gamble, though. Well, running low on MP. He's feeling it at this point. I've only got so many swings left. Ooh, that a was a six. There, but a six. Yeah, it was a double, though. Oof, not likely to double here, so we'll see if he can finish with a triple. Alright, ooh, a five. 
And down to the last swing. Oh, the last swing got He's it. He's done it. Wow. Well done, Crystal MTG. And look, Mr. Holmes right behind him, like seconds. Just seconds behind. Uh, returning back, Crystal MTG. Uh, looks like is going to take this. Second place. And Holmes going to be just seconds behind him. Holy six seconds. 124.43 versus 124.49. An amazing finish uh, for second place there. And really, Diabetes the second also on his Dragon Lord, also taking it out right at the last swing. Um, within pretty much, this should be within a minute, I believe, of each other for, for our last three uh, 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 places. Oh, Diabetes slacking. He's, he's a whole, like, 12 seconds behind the others. What does he do? <laughs> no, good game to all of the runners. That was freaking incredible. Yes, and a, a very, very amazing race. Nice and close the whole way through. For the record, Diabetes 27 seconds behind Mr. Holmes, so... Wow. Looks like we do have Angel FM in the uh, commentary booth, so congratulations, Angel FM. Well well raced. Uh, uh, how did you feel about this, about this seed? I mean, I thought it went pretty smooth. I didn't really think there was anything bad besides maybe Mountain being on the very southeast coast. What's, um, you know, we were, we were watching you, of course, fight those Armored Knights. Could you explain to us a little bit what you were doing to kind of probe the Armored Knights and figure out your stats? Because you won on your very first Dragonlord fight, which is uh, pretty impressive. You didn't need to see the number. Uh, so what I was doing, I was seeing if it took three or four hits to take out the Armored Knight to at least try to gauge where my strength was. And I did the same thing with the Golem uh, a little bit before that, where it still took five shots to to knock it out. So I didn't feel like I had enough strength to get them. Yeah, we saw that um, your other three competitors um, all finished on 17 and just barely made it on some of the last swing um, because they had a lot of MP and HP. But uh, yeah, 18. Looks like had 26 power and made that a pretty uh, pretty easy little fight there. Yeah, I was wondering exactly how much it was going to be giving because uh, hitting for 20s after after four swings on AKs, yeah, that was not very uh, not very what I. Yeah, it looked like the other runners were hitting for uh, it looked like five to ten uh, at level 17. So you know, going that made him uh, made him a lot uh, lot gooder, but or a lot uh, easier to take down for certain. Um, you pretty much had the the experience lead early on. You were the first one to find the sword, and that pretty much put you um, ahead for experience and gave you that that opportunity to to get there. Were you were you contemplating it all going down at seventeen? Uh, somewhat, because it seemed like we had a lot of uh, hit points at that point. And the first time I calculated the uh, MP, we had 13 heal morphs at that point. So it was a maybe, but I don't know. It's, to me, it's just a little bit too much of a risk. And I mean, all, all the 18 did was make it a lot safer, and it didn't really cost me the risk. So we also have uh, Tristel and Diabetes in here. Good game to you both. That was uh, quite the finish. Uh, you know, you obviously didn't get to see all of it, but we had three Dragon Lords on uh, on the screen at the same. Yeah, uh, watching that SRL chat, that must have been completely intense. That's that's amazing. And yeah, I didn't have uh, SRL up, so uh, as soon as I defeated the Dragon Lord, I pulled it up, and I was like, oh man, everyone's already done. Then I looked at the times and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> at least it was close. Oh man, it was more than close. It was back and forth on the Dragonlord fight even. Uh, fairy water here, double there. Yeah, actually uh, on the grind, um, Mr. Holmes had basically just, he, he dived down and he picked up level 17. I think it was on the blue dragon right before it. Um, which gave him just enough uh, uh, enough strength to be able to take out the Dragon Lord. Um, so he, he, when it was between you and uh, you and him, Tristel, it was it was just neck and neck. 
uh, there. So it was it was super 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 close. Um, and even you know Diabetes U as well, right right behind him. So how did how did the uh, how did the seed feel to you guys? You know, getting up to that point, were you feeling like I gotta I gotta get there now? Um, as you were grinding, uh, what, what was going through your mind? Uh, for me, um, well, because I did that sort of test run on Dragon Lord, and that is the first time I've ever done zero damage to the Dragon Lord. I I, that, I laughed so hard when I saw that. I was like, oh, I'm not ready at level 13. All right, let's 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 grind for a while, or at least until we see a double-digit power gain. And that didn't happen, so kind of the next test case was um, when can I kill an Armored Knight with one swing and a hurt more rather than two. Um, and then as soon as that happened, I'm like, well, I'm probably in that in the neighborhood and I know my MP is great and I know my agility is really good. I didn't know exactly how good because I saw I was defense breaking blue dragons and I was like, oh yeah, we, we are gonna get some doubles here. This might work out, so. Um, but really throughout the rest of the seed um, was fairly normal, um, hurt more at like, what, level 10, so. You know, just uh, kind of grinding along the, uh, most of the way, and then at the end, just trying to figure out when I was ready. Hey, yeah, it was a pretty similar experience for me, too. I think I hit the Dragon Lord for the first time at 12, and I think I was doing 2 to 4 based on uh, my stats and equipment, so I knew I had a long way to go. I think it was just a matter of knowing when to stop and give it another try, because it does take a fair bit of time to do that, and any time that you're not you know, grinding and gaining XP is time that you're falling further behind if it turns out to not be the dive. Um, when I got there and started doing fives and sixes, I thought, well, we're going back to the grinds, but I think the HP just caught up so quickly um, that, for, I mean, the, the death necklace was in play, really, and potentially that could have made the difference uh, had you been able to figure out you had 130 plus HP, but yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. Other than that, I mean, that was I mean, grinding was half the seed. Everything else was pretty pretty good. Yeah, there were certainly all kinds of armor knight parts flying uh, just left and right and top and bottom and all over the uh, all over the screen. That's that's for certain. A lot of big big grinds there. Um, the seed started out pretty pretty good for y'all uh, as well. You started out with high strength. It was interesting that uh, at the end you you had to. To then be grinding for strength. Did anybody, uh, any other uh, challenges or anything uh, else, you know, uh, strike you as uh, remarkable about the seed? Uh, for me personally, no, not really. Um, you know, we got a lot of the plot items kind of early on. Um, nothing was in a super crazy place. Uh, maybe Garenham was a little out of the way, but um, I don't know. I find things in the right order, I guess. Um, so I didn't really have those kinds of issues. Uh, I can't say that uh, throughout the seed it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad, really. The one thing I will probably point to and kick myself at later is that I think when I dove the mountain cave and picked up this harp, which was my last necessary item i didn't just bug out right then i did make the play to look for the death necklace and that i mean it, what i was only 30 seconds behind second place or so so that probably ended up costing me because i ran out of mp and couldn't outside out and ended up taking a death to a golem which golems with dl2 that was uh unfriendly so did you not find three curse belts early then Uh, I don't think... There was something else that I hadn't found, I think, at that point. Um, I don't recall exactly. I don't think I had found Garinham yet at that point either. Um, so that was three chests that I hadn't seen, and I don't recall if I had seen stones or tablet at that point. So with, you know, eight plus Charlock still out there, I figured, why not? So, uh, Tristel MTG, you uh, are moving on to the the final round. How how are you feeling about going uh, advancing? Uh, as well as Angel, you're still in, yes, Angel. Both of you, <laughs> how how do you feel about moving on to the next uh, to the next tier? Well, I I guess this is expectations for me. 
Uh, I mean, going out top 16 last and during the summer tournament was kind of disappointing. So at least making the finals here is nice. Uh, yeah, I'll say this is above expectation for me. Uh, you know, obviously as the eight seed, I, I guess I would expect to be top eight, but no further. So this is a nice surprise. I'm really psyched about it. Looks like in chat, CD is promising you guys a big swamp seed with three hours and no town. So off you guys go to practice, right? I expect nothing less. That's a flag that they need to make is invisible towns. Oh, I thought you meant the CD rolls flag. <laughs> So next week uh, is going to be an interesting uh, matchup. It'll be the four runners that have advanced on High Spirit, Cyberdark86, Angel FM, and Tristal MTG. And there will be actually two races that that make the uh, that determine the the final winner. Uh, so there will be one that'll be uh, Chaos Flags, except for the Monster Stat rations. Uh, and then there will be another one, another race uh, with Standard Flags. Uh, XB, Big Swamp, Heal and Hurt more, or rather, Heal and Hurt before the more. And I think also Normal XP on the uh, the other race as well, the Chaos race. So uh, rather than having the fast experience growth, it'll be uh, the normal experience growth. So that should be an exciting week. Do, uh, any other final comments for anybody before we uh, before we close her out for the night? Uh, just thank you to uh, UV and Riot Guy for commentating, uh, Aaron for restreaming, and Cyberdark and Centroid for uh, tracking. Always appreciate you guys helping out. Yeah, I'll echo that as well. Everybody in chat, make sure you follow all the staff, the, the streamer, the tracker, the commentators. They're doing this because they love this community. So uh, give them, you know, some supports wait wait I, I was told they're gonna be cookies i thought cd was giving us cookies is that not a thing i was uh, anyway um no thank you guys for the race that was an incredibly good race Ooh, there's two cookies from cyberdark in chat i'll take that uh but thanks for the race that was a really really close race really fun one to watch Yes, an absolute uh, delight to watch and call. Uh, so again, uh, thank you to all of our runners. Uh, that's Mr. Holmes, Tristel MTG, Angel FM, Diabetes the Second, as well as uh, our restreamer uh, put this together, connecting the tubes and the wires to, to make what you're seeing and hearing happen. That's Aaron Messi. Uh, we've got uh, tracking the stats, uh, Cyberdark blank blank. I mean, Cyberdark 86 and Centroid 41. Uh, I'm Velu V, and with me, Rai Guy. Uh, 3745 in the commentator booth. Uh, so, again, thanks to the entire production uh, and thank you, chat and watchers. Uh, if you guys weren't watching, we probably wouldn't be putting this on. So, uh, we really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Uh, have a good evening and, uh, you know, stay inside out there. <laughs>